going to be celebrating, hopefully, with people you love. We've got the recipes you need, plus some ideas for how you can have the ultimate New Year's Eve party. Please welcome our three chefs. We've got Brandon Felton, Jason Parsons, Maximo Capra. Yes. And I'm imagining New Year's Eve is a busy day for all three of you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Busy night. Oh, yeah. Things oh, get really absolutely. Yeah. crazy. What are you usually doing New Year's Eve? Okay, well, the I got... stuff that you can actually say on TV. No, a bit of a story. You know what? I did the New Year's thing, and I did it for 24 years straight. Yeah. And last year, my wife put her foot down. She's like, we're having a party at home. Yes. Good for and Sarah. so yeah, we did that. We, we we set all the restaurants up, and I, I I you know she went down. Actually, she went to work for four or five hours longer than I did. But then we had people <laughs> back to our place, and we did like mini main courses all night long. It was it was fantastic. It was okay, good time. so I like this idea. I like this idea of everybody sort of um, you having a new dish coming out. Yes. And you space them out throughout the evening. Yes. And yeah. it's fun stuff that people can participate in, like poutine, for instance. Like poutine, you know. Okay, well, so you easy. have like we're gonna do a poutine bar. We're going to do a poutine bar, but the thought and theory behind it is, is everyone brings a dish. And it's a yes. bit of a competition, but it's every 45 minutes you do a little main course. You, then you're copping out and you're making everybody else cook. Exactly. Well, you, you know what? It's my exactly night off, too, too Jason. It's yeah. yeah. my night off, too, right? That was the one You guys want to come over? That was, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. that, that was, that was the one time I did a party at home. That's it, no more. Yeah. Everything comes from the restaurant, ready, package it back, out. I like that. That's yeah. fun, too. Like That's that all right. Idea. That's okay. The other theory about the whole party and that the food throughout the night is you can match up the wines with it and oh, then nice. you're actually feeding yourself sustenance. So the poutine's kind of good like that because it allows you to maybe enjoy yourself on the beverage side a little longer. Absolutely, because you have to be responsible, right? Exactly. And keep it going for like seven hours. So <laughs> There you go. So how do we start if okay. we wanted to try so and do we, this at we home? Talk, we got to talk potatoes. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And can we not talk about that? We can't talk about that yet. We'll get to well, there. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's really distracting. Yes. There's, know, only, right? there's only one way to make a perfect poutine. <laughs> Yeah. Number one, you've got to use a russet potato. Okay, it's got to right? be russet. It's got yeah. to be uh, it's got to be high starch and it's going to be nice and crisp on the outside. But there's a secret method we do in the restaurants to make that potato absolutely perfect. Okay. Number one is cut them a little bit thinner, like a quarter inch, like that. Soak yeah. them in water. If you can put ice water in there, even better. And what that does, it washes off the starch on the outside and just makes sure they don't clump together. Okay. Then what we do is a single fry. So we blanch the fries. So we just cook them for like four minutes. Yeah. And to the point where you know what. It's got a bit of a crunch. It's okay. It almost tastes like a vegetable, yep. like it is, right? Yeah. It's a vegetable. <laughs> almost. It's almost. A, it, it's we gotta a fix that. So totally, I like that about totally. potatoes. The Irish think it's a vegetable, right? <laughs> In every course. <laughs> um, and then the third step we do is we fry them up and we crisp them up. Okay. So we blanch them at 250, and then when we crisp them up, we're crisping them up at 350. So. If you want to do a large amount at home, I suggest you get like a turkey fryer mm -hmm. and you put that outside and you kind of go that way because you're going to smell up the house and everyone's going to be partying and yeah. things like that. Um, but for smaller things, you just do it right on the stove or even buy yourself a deep mm -hmm. fryer. So Does these babies are going in. You can kind of hear them, right? Sizzle. And that's around 350 and they'll start to crisp up. Okay. Next we have to talk about is gravy. Yeah, gravy this. is incredibly important when you it comes to You guys are excited about that over there, aren't you? I just want to... It looks good. We're going to... We're gonna, okay, we're bringing this in. Let's just, let's just let talk it, about it now. because the it's boys it. can't let it go. They can't let it go. What Listen, have you got going on over because there? Because kitchen space is always an issue when you're having people over in a party. Yeah. This is a gravy fountain. <laughs> so it's going to allow you some space in your stove. It's going to keep the gravy <laughs> warm. Right. It's going to be kind of a conversation piece in the beginning. And yes, the guys are going to grab the cheese and they're going to dip it in there and they're yes. going to slosh it around. But it's going to go all night. And then later, on, you'll probably get into gravy shots. <laughs> Ew! Oh. No, yes. I brought some glasses and some bourbon. I was with we'll you there. I was like, Ooh. I'm coming to your house. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, about we that. gotta get back to this. Uh, that's a very, that's a genius idea. It's a great I love idea, that. right? Okay, we gotta get back How to our gravy. How do you start? How do you start so your perfect gravy? I started off with just a simple roux. So we've got flour and we've got butter. We're gonna caramelize it up. Okay. This is kind of a blonde state, and you'll see that the roux comes a little bit thinner once you've cooked it out a little bit. And yeah. a lot of the nuttiness and the flavor is gonna come from there. Massimo, you mind passing me down that beautiful Puller Estates red wine, please? Mm. Yep. Oh. Finally, we <laughs> need some good wine. Sponsored by Jason, here we go. <laughs> right. um, all we're gonna do, give it a splash, simple deglaze. And just gonna do a little bit at a time because you don't want it to lump up. Okay. We're gonna reduce that down by half. And as you can see, the flour just takes it right, right mm -hmm. to a thickening state. And this is where a lot of the color is gonna come from too, because I believe a perfect poutine is a gravy, a chicken gravy poutine. Yeah. A chicken gravy. You well, can't go beef. Mm. Well, you don't all want the chefs any lumps want to try in to make it gravy. a nice sauce and stuff like that, but yeah. it's a gravy. It's a gravy. A gravy is a gravy. Yeah. That poutine make is what gravy. it is. No. You shouldn't. I don't think you should try and make it anything no. that it isn't, poutine right? Is it's good as it is. So now we okay. have a purple oh, no. gravy. 
They're coming along. They're coming along. We lost a little bit of heat in the break, I think. Is that tomato paste? Tomato paste goes in. Yeah. Once again, that's just going to give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of redness. And then Massimo, do you want to just slowly drip in that chicken stock in the bowl there? In the bowl? Yeah. Jason's working on our break. this bowl over here? Don't do that. fry the chicken stock. Okay. And nice why, and slow. why do you need hey, to don't go you slow? Want, uh, whisk I got a whisk over there. You got a whisk mm -hmm. somewhere? It's okay. Do it the other right. way. The we'll do it the hard way. way. Nice and slow. Whisk, right? so, it'll cook out too. Don't worry about it. I'll just keep eating the gravy. Why do you, you want to go. go slow though? Is it just the difference it's, in temperature? Is it just so to make sure that you don't have any lumps? It's going to bring the lumps down, right? Okay. You bring it slow. That's it's going to leave it at a thick paste, and then eventually it'll just kind of like free itself up. Okay. I think we're good to go, Max. We'll give it a little bit more, mate. Yeah, go for it. I just uh, gotta go for it, man. Just gotta go. Just get it in. How much farther are you at, man? I had uh, 30, 30 grams, 30 and 30. Oh, it's gonna be okay, 2016 be okay. by the time you're done this thing. Take it easy. You're all right, man. It should be good. A little bit of salt. All right. Right? A yeah, little bit of pepper. Right. Let Beautiful. that simmer away until she gets the proper consistency. Okay. okay. We see the fries are starting to crisp up. They're at the top now. Those are looking nice, aren't they, yep. guys? We're around Maybe. 300 degrees. So I here's like we my go. fries really okay. crispy though. All right. So keep them in there for a while. Once again with the serving, you're so good with the plating. So I love these, I love these, that. Are, these are just gonna. This is just like for fun right here. Relax a little. Oh, here we yeah. go. This now the fries. It's really important. Salt, pepper. As soon as they come Not out. Have you ever tried a little bit of ice and sugar on that? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm Jason. I do. It's brilliant. Jason, just I don't you know if I can do that. That's, so, that's kind of a good now, idea. I, I was doing a little bit of research. Oh, 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 I was doing a touch of research, yeah. and they said put sugar in the water, and I'm like, I can't no. do that. I get it. On there, because you can't put sugar in the water. No, you can't put sugar in the water. My palate yeah. gets so that. So Jason, pass me over one of these little babies here. Now these are just baker trays with a little bit of lining. The beautiful thing about this is if you're doing a large party, what can happen is it's not really big deal because. They're a little warm coming out yeah, of there. <laughs> Toss it in there. If you put sugar in the water of the potato, then you're gonna end up having brown potato. It's yeah. gonna come out really, they, really they, dark. They're not gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. How do you get the gravy in there? Well, you I could. See how this it's gonna happen. Work. This, this is where it's gonna go later on. They're gonna, we're gonna dive in. Yeah. But Jason, give me a scoop. It's yeah, more or less spoon. cosmetics, right? Oh, you better not have carpeting at all. Always. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the white carpets on. Oh. Oh. And tell them, the New Year's Eve you tell, <laughs> tell them the cheese you use, because that's important. We're doing a fresh cheese curd. You've got to have cheese curds if you're I doing poutine. I agree. I love the takeout container because there's zero cleanup. And look, because it's New Year's, we went with the plastic black fork. Very Plastin nice. What do you think, guys? Oh. Give a big uh, hand for that. Oh my God, I'm going to be a party, but I'm not bringing anything.